Hello, in this video I'll try to give you an idea of what YAG is. YAG stands for Yet Another Game Board, it's a VTT or Virtual Tabletop, and it can be seen as a sort of universal network gaming board. Network-wise, one player is running the map as a server, and other players connect to it as clients. A map in YAG is composed of a dungeon, a terrain, and pawns. The dungeon can be procedurally generated and manually edited. Lots of parameters are available, but one-click presets are provided for fast generation. The terrain can also be procedurally generated and manually modified. Here again, lots of parameters are proposed, as well as one-click presets for instant configuration. There are four types of pawns in YAG. Humans, which are really humanoid pawns, share the same set of animations. They can be equipped with weapons. The attack animations depends on the equipped weapons. And they can ride any creature. Weapons can only be equipped on humans. Creatures cannot be equipped nor modified, but they can all be mounted by humans, and they all have a different and unique set of animations. Finally, objects are anything static, like plants, walls, chests, special effects, etc. All pawns can be rescaled very easily, even equipped weapons. Pawns can be controlled with the keyboard mouse or a gamepad, with any custom view, including of course first and third person, but not limited to them. It is possible to record and replay a path for pawns. There are many pawns options and features, but we can't review everything in this short video. We also have some more exotic types of pawns, like maps, which are simple geometric shapes that can import images. They can be used, of course, for maps, but also pawns, decorations, and actually any game board. The next exotic pawns are the splines, which are a construction tool repeating a model along a line to efficiently create complex repeating patterns. A powerful camera system allows players to quickly move to any pre-recorded view, and the Dungeon Master have options to call players to various sorts of cameras. Lights in Yaga are all 3D and dynamic. They have many options to change their color, intensity, radius, and even profile, which allows non-realistic lighting for sight distance. The atmosphere is physically accurate and offers a lot of options for colors, intensities, clouds, fog, etc. to get various kinds of skies. The sun can move at any chosen speed to get some nice animated maps. There are lots of visual options, so I'll just mention a few here. We can add a grid to any map, choosing its shape and size. We can also apply more than a thousand color filters to instantly change the atmosphere of any scene. There are many post-process effects to entirely transform the final image by applying, for example, a tune shader or painting effect. It is also possible to change some photographic properties of the camera, like the depth of field, to create beautiful screenshots. To close the visual chapter, those of you who have an RTX compatible card may enable ray tracing and DLSS for more realistic renderings. There are many ways to hide content to the players. Pawns can be made invisible, which can be used for traps or invisibility spells and potions. Setting a pitch black map and only playing with lights is a great way to hide a map while maintaining immersion and ambience. Finally, 
there is a 3D fog of war with options for the size, density and opacity of fog tiles. Pawns can be allowed to interact with the fog, or it can be manually controlled by the dungeon master. Dice are rolling according to physics, their values, labels and even faces can be customized using masks. The dice language is entirely scripted in Lua and exposed to users, so it can be modified or even replaced to follow any game mechanics. Character sheets in YAG are a simple collection of lines allowing to automate dice rolls with a few options. Unlike the dice language, they can be extended or completely rewritten through Lua scripting. There is a simple round management system to roll initiatives, sort pawns accordingly and set an action token for the turn order. YAC can also run its own web server, allowing you to quickly create a simple website for your campaign. This web server can be reached through an HTTP REST API that lets us control YAC to some extent through a browser, a phone or a tablet. Content in YAG is managed through DLCs that you have to install. All DLCs are and will remain free, so once you buy YAG, you'll get all the present and future content for free. Finally, YAG is heavily documented. Newcomers will find in-game helps in various forms, tooltips, PDF, real-time controls, interactive keyboard, as well as many videos and tutorials on the YAG YouTube channel. For more advanced users, both the Lua API and the HTTP REST API are fully documented. And of course, for any question or problem, a Steam forum and a Discord server are available. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully see you soon in YAG. Thanks.